Hey, what's shaking everybody? So today I got another fidget spinner for you guys. So I previously have done the high-end like noble spin fidget spinners and I've also done the 5 below and the 7-11 fidget spinners. These ones actually got a tremendous amount of views. Um, I don't know if it's because it's cheap or because they're at a nice, you know, convenience store. Anybody can go to get one. You don't have to order them online. So I was shopping at my local Walgreens and I saw they had all sorts of fidget spinners for $4. And so I just bought one of each of them. So we're going to unbox them and uh, I'm going to give two of them away. So let's do it. Okay guys, here's the packaging. Um, very basic packaging. It's the stress gear is what the company advertises it as. Um, office, home, school, six and up, choking hazard, you know, all the random bull crap you see in all these. Uh, instructions how to use it. Which is, uh, yeah, kind of funny, but I guess helpful for some people, maybe. But um, yeah, let's uh, open one of these up. I don't know which one though. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This one. Okay. We're gonna open this guy up. Alright. First impressions in my hand. Quite solid feeling. Uh, the bearings don't say what AVEC they are on them. You know, the AVEC doesn't really mean that much. It's got a little bit of a rattly sound to it, but it actually spins quite smooth. It feels like these little fins on here make it create like even more like centrifugal force. I don't know. It just feels like when you move it, it like really, I don't know, it pulls different than like a flat one does. Like here, let's open. Um, I don't know. Let's open this one too, I guess. I don't really need a knife to do this. I'm just, it's just more fun with a knife. But remember kids, don't open with a knife unless unless you want to, then it's cool. Whoa. Looks exactly the same, just different colors. Looks like they all have the same bearings and everything. Really weird thing about this though, look at this. These two shields are like opaque and that one's transparent. Like what? <laughs> That's really weird. This one? Yeah, this one it feels uh it spins just as nice, but it feels like uh this one, the shape makes it feel different when you move it like that. But um, I'm gonna do a spin time test with the, these two. So let me get out a little stopwatch on my phone and we'll do a spin time test stock with these two. Then I'll, I'll put some, uh, some thin lubricant on the bearings that I made in a previous video and we'll see if we can get a little better spin time. And then I'll see, and then on, I'll tell you how to win one of these things. Okay guys, um, let's give it a little spin test stock, see how long we can get, and then I'll clean the bearing and do it again, so I can give you guys an idea of what you'll get out of this product. I give it a pretty hard flick, and I'll see you guys when it stops spinning. Starting to die at about 210. I'll probably make it about to 220. So pretty decent spin time, about two and a half minutes, I'd say. For both of them, we're gonna call that two and a half minutes. So I'm gonna pop this off with my knife, um, and from there, put a little thin lubricant I made. I'll put an annotation. It'll pop up right there. You can click on it right right there. And yeah, we'll be right Okay back. guys, I cleaned the bearings with a little yo-yo thin lube I made. Um, when I opened them up, I noticed the bearing was extremely dry right off the bat. So I don't know if the spin time will really increase much because bearings tend to spin the best actually when they're dry, but they rust and they get corroded easier. So you want a little bit of lube. That's why the lube I make is like a very thin lubricant. I have a video on how to do it. It's, it's for yo-yos, but it's like the exact same thing for this. I don't see why it would make a difference. So. Let's uh, give it a shot and see if it made it any better. Uh, my other previous ones I did, it, made, it doubled the spin time. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's gonna double the spin time, but it might make it a little better. 
So let's give it a shot. Okay, interesting. So the the putting the lube on it actually decreased the spin time a little bit, which might be, you know, a kind of a bad thing for some of you guys, but by it being totally the bearing being totally dry like that, it, it was more chance it was gonna get rust and get messed up. You know, the salts and, and like the salts and oils on your hands um, cause help, you know, cause like these little bearings, you know, they'd start to like corrode on the sides and you know, it would just you want to have a little bit of lubricant on there and the more you play with it you know this is the first day I had it it's gonna break in and get a little more spin time but for something like this for somebody that uses it for what it's actually intended for fidgeting the spin time doesn't really matter because it's more just for like you know fidgeting in your hands and these you know they work very good they the dimples they're like concave on on this part is the thumb piece or finger piece is quite nice and uh, I like the shape of this one. You know, it feels nice to like, it's like, I don't know, it's kind of just different. How it's like, kind of like a flame. I don't know. And you kind of cold it either way. I don't know, it just feels different. It's just something different. But um, yeah, I don't know, very cool. And uh, yeah, worth the money, but. So you'd expect about a two minute spin time out of these. You know, out of the box, I was getting two and a half. But once I, you know, looped the bearings a little, I got about two minutes, so. That's it for the spin test. Okay guys, I hope you liked the video. I had fun playing with these things. If you have a local Walgreens, go there before they're sold out. They're only $4. And if you don't have a local Walgreens, you can win one of these. I'm going to give away this one on Twitter, this emoji one. And then this green one, I'm going to give away on Instagram. So both of them, you're going to have to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. And for the Instagram one, you're going to follow me on Instagram. And then I'm going to have a picture of this one. You're going to just comment on that picture. It's as simple as that. The Twitter one, basically the same thing. You're going to subscribe to my channel, you're going to follow me on Twitter, and then you're going to tweet this video, so like share this video, and uh, you know tag me in your tweet. You know, it's, I'll put that, everything will be in the description, all the rules, you know, you can enter both, you can enter for both of them, but you can only enter one time for each, so. Good luck to everybody, I hope you guys liked the video, thanks for watching, and all you new subscribers, welcome homies.